welcome to Snowmobiler TV. Today's a special program where the tour guide spins us around the Nickel City and shows off some of the best Sudbury, Ontario has to offer for snowmobilers. Topping the bill, we feature the Big Deal Poker Run, which also delivered a fantastic Sudbury Saturday night of entertainment with Canadian recording artist Larry Barrio rocking the house after the ride. Also, we have ski R Motion Suspension, chat with Cat's new sales manager Brad Darling, and introduce the new Yamaha Nipex. It's all good, so let's ride. STV is sponsored by Yamaha Four-Stroke Snowmobile. Why do you, Yamaha? By G-Max Helmets. There's a G-Max for everyone. And by ski -Doo. Better rides, better rides. exposed to unique landscape and scenery is all part of the allure of touring on snowmobiles. For riders who've explored the trails around the city of Sudbury, you will agree the landmarks in this region are very interesting and different from most sledding destinations. Riding past the mines in Sudbury is really a cruise by the history and origin of the nickel capital of the world. And for those interested in a getaway vacation and things to do while not riding the snowmobile trails, Snowmobiler TV put on its tourist hat and visited the incredible Dynamic Earth attraction. We are at Dynamic Earth, home of the Big Nickel in Sudbury, Ontario. And as many people already know, Sudbury, Ontario is one of the mining capitals of the world. Uh, and so this is a mining and geology centre. And when you come and visit Dynamic Earth, you'll find out about mining, about geology, about the rocks that are hundreds of millions of years old around here and why Sudbury is such a mining center. It had to do with a big uh, meteoric impact millions of years ago and that is why there are so many minerals in the Sudbury Basin. That's one of the, that's a short answer but to really find out about it you have to come and see it. There's many different interactive exhibits, there's lots of things for very young kids and very old kids as well so there's an awful lot of fun to do. Uh, and uh, Dynamic Earth is one of the main attractions of Science North and I think Science North is probably something that is familiar to uh, a lot of the viewers. When you come in, one of the first things really we like to get people to do is go into the Inco Chasm, which is a uh, glassed-in elevator that brings you down seven stories. And while you're traveling down the seven stories underground to an old mine, then you see uh, this multi-dimensional, uh, very interesting uh, exhibit that travels as you go down into the into the underground tour and the underground tour will take you through the history of mining from 125 years ago uh, when it was a very rudimentary process and all backbreaking work to where it is these days now with modern machinery and different safety mechanisms that are uh, that are around we have uh, at science north and dynamic earth we have what's called object theaters and and uh, these are um, uh, very unique things that I think are probably one of the signatures to, to Science North and Dynamic Earth. They're, they're very uh, interactive theaters and they use a lot of different technology, high technology and uh, different forms of exhibitry to bring you through uh, a process to understand whether it's the history of Sudbury, whether it's the smelting process in Sudbury. Uh, difficult um, concepts are presented in a very easy way so that <clears throat> both young and old alike can really get an understanding of everything. There's a fabulous play center uh, for the little kids. They can climb stairs, they can make rock move on conveyor belts, they can take a trolley and dump it. They can do all sorts of things that are mining related. They can pan for gold. We have a rock hound lab where kids can come in and exchange rocks that they have found for something else. They get points. They can become part of a club. Um, there is a discovery theater. Uh, there is the Atlas Copco theater. There are live science shows that are done there um, on a daily basis and there are fabulous films that are shown in the Atlas Cockpit Theatre and there is a main exhibit hall. The McLean Gallery is our main exhibit hall and different times of the year there will be different exhibits. Right now it's meteorites and there are meteorites in there that come from Mars and from the Moon and you learn all about meteorites and it's, it's a pretty interesting thing. What it does is it brings uh, science to everyday life so people can really get an understanding and in, without even knowing it an education about everything that's around them. This area of the province is really the gateway to Northern Ontario and where winter is embraced and snowmobilers are welcome. 
We work closely in partnership with the Sudbury Trail Plan, um, OFSC, District 12, uh, to make sure that people know of the opportunities to explore thousands of kilometers of trails uh, in Sudbury, in Greater Sudbury, and linking us to uh, points north as well. Uh, we often talk about the do-the-loop opportunity. So we see uh, any given weekend, you're going to see a long line of trucks and trailers bringing their toys up to play uh, in our backyard. The trails are inviting and so too are the special attractions. So if a ride getaway is in the cards, be sure to bring the family and make it a weekend vacation with some very interesting off-trail activities adding to the adventure. Be sure to visit the STV website for more info on Science North and Sudbury. Coming up, it's a one-of-a-kind hybrid mountain runner.